Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota RAV4 Trail in the color white. Let's take a look. Starting up front here underneath the hood, we have a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine, automatic transmission, gets up to 203 horsepower, 184 pound foot of torque, and when properly equipped, you have towing capacity up to 3,500 pounds. Up front, LED headlights, head LED headlights, customary daytime running lights, and your fog lights down below. Then along to the side here, we have 19-inch black alloy wheels. Side mirrors have integrated turn signals and blind spot monitoring. On both of your front handles, you'll find these two double lines. We'll talk about that more on the driver's side. As you move back, all of your rear windows come with factory tinting, and up top we have black roof rails. Approaching the back on the right-hand side, you have your trail trim level badge. Then on the left is the RAV4 badge. Underneath your rear logo is your backup camera. To open up your rear space here, reach under the logo and press the button, and it should automatically rise up for you. Inside here, second row seating has a 60-40 split. On the left-hand side here, this allows your two sides of your seats to work independent from each other. If you're looking to fold your seats down flat to extend your cargo space forward into the cab, you can release these little handles on the top outside corners, and that way you're able to send your cargo space all the way forward, or of course, leave your seats up for your rear passengers. All across the back on the floor and on the back of the second row seating, you have this RAV4 branded rubber mat liner. First off, it is much easier to remove and clean any dirt or debris off of this liner versus that typical carpeted interior, but it also helps to protect your vehicle from any damage from your cargo and protect your cargo from damage from the vehicle. Up top, across the way here, this is your interior cargo cover. This guy can extend outwards. It locks into place on your little hooks on either side here, helping to keep private anything you keep stored in your rear, pass in your rear cargo space here so that nobody can look in through your windows and see what you've got. In the back, we also have the RAV4 carpeted mats, and then also the cargo net is in the back there. That guy hooks into place, stretches across your rear space, and helps to reduce the amount of movement of cargo in the back. It also has a built-in pocket design, so you can tuck things into there that you want to have easy and quick access to so that it doesn't go flying all throughout this rear space. If you look in any one of the four corners, you'll find these silver tie-down hooks all throughout. On the right-hand side, you have additional storage area here, and then power options. You also have interior lighting. To close up your space here, you can reach up to your handles on either side or just press the electronic button. Next, let's take a look at the inside. Inside your interior upholstery is the black leatherette. We've got this nice orange stitching for some really nice contrast all throughout here. And there's also this slight almost quilted texturing that you'll find on the middle panels of your seats. In the middle, you have access to the folding down armrest sash cup holder. This guy easily folds away to increase your seating capacity. Looking forward on the back of your front passenger seat, you have pouch storage. Back of the console, you have air vents and chargers down below. And we currently have the RAV4 rubber mats installed. All the units come with both rubber and carpeted. On the doors, you'll find more of the black leatherette with the orange stitching. We have our first looks at the metallic highlighting. You'll find that all throughout your front cab space. Back again to these two double lines. These guys indicate keyless entry. So if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your hand here to lock and unlock your unit. Inside the door, power windows front and back, window lock, power lock system, side mirror controls. Your front seat is electronically adjustable. Back front up, down, and your lumbar support. Hood and gas release latches on the bottom left-hand corner of your dash. Above that, controls for dash brightness. Automatic headlamps, the defog for your rear windshield. Heated leather steering wheel control and power trunk release. And then just a little storage cubby up top. Taking a look at your steering wheel here. Left-hand side controls for your dash display, hands-free communication and volume control. Right-hand side radio controls on the bottom adaptive cruise control up top. This includes sonar and lane departure. In the middle here is your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much of the information about your daily driving experience. Currently, you're looking at your optional navigation. You can choose to connect this through Toyota Connected Services. Under that is audio listening, AM, FM, satellite radio, Full Bluetooth connectivity includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and there's optional USB adapters throughout the unit. Then you have your phone connectivity. This is for your personal device to connect to the unit through Bluetooth. Then you have your trip information, and then all of your general settings. So everything from personal profile, you have your Bluetooth devices, Wi-Fi display, sound, media, vehicle customization, dealer, apps, etc. Under that is your four ways. 
Then we have your climate control center, dual climate control up front here. So that means that either side can work independent, or if you turn on the sink, each side will be working all as one unit. This unit does come with the eco heat cool option. Then you have defrost for front and rear windshields. To the left is your push start ignition. Underneath is your traction control. Then we have high low controls for your two front heated seats. Underneath, we have the charger options in the back. You also notice this little power button and glowing green dot. These guys indicate that this black pad space here is actually a wireless charging pad. It is compatible with all wireless charging devices. Nice thing is you can still keep an eye on your phone for any notifications coming in and out, but it has this nice sloped down tray design, so your phone's not going to go flying out as soon as you accelerate. And if you don't want to be using that function, you can just turn off the power button and then it will not be running power there at all. Then you've got your gear shift, parking brakes, and all of your driving modes. So eco, normal, sport, and then your mud and sand to rock and dirt, normal settings, snow, and downhill assist. Lovely orange highlights all throughout this middle console space, of course, here too. Then you have the console itself opens up. You have additional chargers on the top inside part. On the right-hand side, you have this built-in storage area that goes the whole way across. Then you have a lockable glove box down below. Up overhead, you have your sunglasses compartment, SOS button, overhead lighting controls, and controls for your moonroof. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour for this Toyota RAV4 Trail in the color white. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703. And remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.